Back to George Kittle. Tuesday night in Concord, Brent Jones presented him with the first ever Dwight Clark Legacy Award at a fundraiser for the Golden Heart Fund. Plenty of former 49er legends were in attendance, including fullback here, number 44, Tom Rathman. When I bring up Dwight Clark, what, do you, what images come to mind? I, I just think about being a happy guy mm -hmm. and uh, being very likable. I mean, everybody that he was in close contact liked the guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Do you like him right away? Oh, no question. Oh, okay. So, I mean, he was on my side. So he was he was trying to help me, give me all the advice when I first got there. Him and Roger, I mean, they were uh, great mentors, and uh, you know, he was kind of the sta the standard. You know, him and Joe, that was the standard. Him, Joe, and in my opinion, Ronnie, and uh, then Roger, and then. Drafted uh, Jerry Rice and boom, and then, here we go, baby. And, and then and then off Let's off it, it went. What do you miss most? I guess the contact, attacking, you know, taking taking it to the opponent. Uh, but for me, I was able to coach it. So uh, just, this will be the first year that I'm really out of it, uh, you know, for a long time. I can honestly say I, I don't really miss anything right now. Well, I've waited all this time to ask you about the old quarterback question. I mean, you. You've been through this with Montana and Young, Montana, Young, Young, Montana. Yeah. Now it's Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo. As as you as you look at all this unfold, what what are your thoughts about that? Man, play them both. <laughs> Put them both out there at the same time. You know what I'm saying? The rotating quarterback. Yeah, rotate. Let's get them both out there at the same time. Why not? Then you can do the double pass. Yeah. You know, put one at the receiver and throw it to him and then have somebody go deep. You know, that old Pop Warner stuff. It would give DCs a lot to think about. That's <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. That's exactly right. So, uh, but I, I think it's uh, it's hard for a young player to come in and play mm -hmm. for, in the first year. I, you know, I don't care who you are. I mean, it's, it's just the game is so big and there's so much that you have to learn uh, to be really efficient at this level. And uh, it takes some time. You know, there are some kids that are uh, smart that can handle it, but I'm not saying that they can't, but for the most, I mean, if you can give the kid, you know, a backup role or in a rotation mm -hmm. like they're potentially going to do here in San Francisco, uh, I think it's awesome, you know, it's for the kids. Spoken by a man that knows all about the playoffs and winning it all. Thanks so much for your time, Tom. You got it, man. I appreciate you having me. One of these days we'll get back out there on the field. You and me. You know, we'll, get you, it on, on. we'll get you on the sled. <laughs> you know, I'll teach you the lead block. Oh, my gosh. How about that? <laughs> I was teaching you all the running back stuff, high knees and all that, quick feet. We're going right to the boom. Whoa. Let's go. There you go. All right. Yep. But, that, was, that was your thing. Yeah. Great being here. All right, man. All right. Thanks so much. You got it, man. Awesome. Awesome. You. Right. you are the best.